Hi everyone, it's Frankie Lou and Angus and we're here today to talk about a subject. Cloning. Cloning, yeah. I know that sounds uh, crazy and you might think it's you need heuristic. <laughs> yeah, but it's actually a really, really good technique to use in your garden if you want to have strong plants and if you want to have um Yeah, we're not cloning plants. people, we're cloning plants. Yes. And I know Angus has a lot of special equipment here today, but honestly, you really don't need a lot of special equipment to do cloning. Um, it's quite simple. <laughs> We're going to talk about two methods today. My favorite ma method and Angus's. But first, why? Why Why would we clone and what is it? Okay. So well, when you're cloning, it's a lot faster than just growing from a seed. Mm -hmm. And um, it's a lot cheaper because... Like you buy one plant and it's going to give you 10 plants. Yeah, you can get a lot of plants off of it. We have, um, we grow a lot of stuff from seeds. Most, most, most of our vegetables we grow from seeds. But there's two categories of plants that I do a lot of propagating, which is another word for cloning really, um, when it comes to plants. And those are my herbs and also my annual baskets, flower, flower baskets. Okay, one of the reasons why it's a great idea to clone herbs is like let's say we have a nice lemon verbena here this is my yeah. favorite you could probably get three or four cuttings yeah we'll probably be able to get at least three off of this um and honestly i am i usually prune these types of plants both my herbs and my flowers my annual flowers down anyways to promote a bushier growth so it's less wasteful if you then take that part that you've pruned yeah. off and clone it and then you're going to have a plant that's an exact replica ge genetically. As, yeah, it's not going to have like the same leaf in the same spot. But it, it will have the same quality. So for things like, for instance, lemon thyme, which I know um, I've tried to grow from seed before and it's taken forever. And then when it comes up, it actually doesn't smell lemony. It's not great. When you clone a plant, you're taking you're not taking qualities from both a mother and a father plant. It's exactly just the plant. So if you find a really nice flower, you find a really nice calibracoa for a hanging basket, um, or a really grit, good, lush, very um, strong smelling herb, those might be some good um, well, candidates nice. for cloning, right? And lemon thyme is a good example. If you want it to be true um, and really lemony, find a nice lemon thyme and clone from that and you get a better chance. Okay? Yeah. So um, Angus is going to show one of his favorite techniques right now. And it doesn't require a lot of extra equipment. There are some things that you should always use, yes. right? Because one thing that you want to do is you don't want to um, promote any disease to grow. So you, so you just get a bottle of 99% rubbing alcohol. Okay. You're going to pour it in here. Can, do you need some help? I got it. Childproof caps are no fun. He probably is better at getting them open than I am. Yeah, okay. yeah. the trick is to open like that. But so we're you gonna pour a tiny bit, not that much. Yep. Into a ceramic thing. Never know. And then you get a cotton swab. You okay. Put, and then you get the scissors that the you're scissors using. that you're going to use because you want to make sure that there's no chance of there being any pathogens on those scissors when you go to cut these and create young tender plants, okay? And I usually will clean my scissor in between each series of plants that I'm gonna do, okay? Well, <coughs> All right, that's probably plenty. And then you just wait for it to evaporate it for 10 just, seconds. It just takes a second. Now, where are you gonna cut on this, Angus? Okay, so if you look at the plant very closely, the places where there's leaves, those are called nodes, mm -hmm. and you have to cut in between two nodes and have several nodes on the plant that you're cutting yeah, off. The, the hormone that promotes root growth is strongest where those nodes are. So you want to make sure you have several nodes. And, this is, and you also want to make sure you have a long enough um, piece of stem. And then yeah. you cut off a few of these little leaves. He's wasting my lemon verbena. I'm going to use that in dinner tonight, honey. <laughs> Let me get on the floor. Okay. okay. And sorry. So that's, he's actually removed. Now, but it's make sure the nodes are still there. Yeah. And you want to also make sure you don't rip, pinch, or cut. If you rip, you're going to actually expose too much of the stem and you're going to expose it to too many problems. Yep. So, so 
Next, you... I'll hold up your beautiful little piece of lemon verbena. Get some rooting hormone. Okay, so... It's completely natural. It's just... Yes, this is... in plants natural. Yeah, this is a rooting hormone. We purchased this from Garden Retreat in Calgary. You can get lots of different products. We like it because it's not going to cause any harm. It is a natural hormone that occurs in plants, and it might help. I have found that it does, so I use it. I put it in a shot glass. So you don't contaminate the whole container. You don't want to contaminate this whole container. It's going to last. The powder form ones last about two years, but not if you keep putting dirty plants into it, right? So you get the plant. You um, mist the bottom of it. Okay. So it will, it will stick. Yeah, you want the rooting hormone to stick a bit. You want to dip it in there. Mm. Okay, it's good. Swirl it and you it. tap off the excess. Now Angus likes to do it with this. Okay, so I got. I'll a, hold this for you, sweetie. I got a mason jar, and I put um, some cellophane over top of it, and I used an elastic to keep it on, and I got a nail. Poke a small hole. Okay. Yep. Is that gonna be big enough that hole? Yep. It okay. has to be a little bit smaller than your plant. And then you, because you want the plant to be sitting up in the water. You don't want it to be drowning. Okay. And then make sure it's touching the water. Yep. And now that's gonna. He's gonna put that in a sunny spot, and it's gonna start developing roots. Angus loves doing this. He's been doing this for years for yep. fun. And the first one I did, I did it with a wine bottle. <laughs> yeah. This is There's after, a few of those around here. There, this is after one year of growth. Yeah, this is a pothos, right? So, yeah, I cut it off of one of my mom's house plants. Look at all those roots. Yeah. So, we actually couldn't take this out of this wine bottle now. There's so you many roots. You could probably just like, take it out that much. but Yeah. So, we're going to probably take about another two or three cuttings off of this plant and we'll now have four lemon verbena plants versus one. one. And it's going to be better for the mother plant because it's now going to be forced to bush out and get stronger. Um, I will also use, but I'm going to show you my favorite technique now um, because as you know, we're big fans of the milk jug method. And um, in previous years, I've often taken, um, taken, Got in a dome, got some cell trays, filled it up with dirt, yeah. kept the dome covered, protected it. And I'm like, then I started thinking, well, if I'm using the milk jugs, they're perfect little, the, the whole thing about these propagating these plants with the method I'm about to show you is that you want to maintain the humidity and you want to have diffused light. Well, this has got diffused light because it's nicely, this, this um, translucency here will help to, to make sure the light's not too bright. And... Um, especially when you keep the little lid on top, this is going to be really quite a good humidity trap. Okay, so if, if you're wondering about the, more about the milk jug, jug method, look back at one of our previous videos. Yep, just search at milk jug planting and yep. the one made by this channel. Yep, and then, um, but basically what we've done is we've did, um, converted it into a mini greenhouse. mini greenhouse. We've cut the edge here. We put the drainage holes in. Very important thing you don't want to forget. I'm just going to quickly add a little bit of um, uh, propagation soil. It's yeah. So I'm going to show you my favorite soil mix to use for this method because um, what's really important, it's kind of a tricky little game you're playing here. You want it to be very humid, but you also uh, don't want it to rot, right? So I like, again, my pro mix, but I'm using the HP, which stands for high porosity, and it's the best one for rooting little seedlings. I know it's not the organic one, but honestly, this is the first, I'm only going to root the seedling in this. And then once it's, it's grown, I'm going to move it out into the organic soil. Okay. Because I do find that the high porosity really, really helps with my little rootings. So, uh, prime candidates for this technique would be, this is a creeping Jenny. Okay. It, <laughs> if you've grown this just in your garden and not in baskets, you know, it propagates pretty easily and it's got a good spread. So I'm going to take, do the same thing Angus discussed. I'm going to quickly clean off my scissors here 
I'm going to take a nice little clipping with several nodes. I'm going to clip off the leaves. On a few, not all. Yep. I take out of about three, three to four sets. Okay, and then I'm going to dip it in my rooting hormone. And then you see that I've got the soil in here. I'm just going to push this down into the soil. And I you could just do create that several times in a milk yep. jug because you're gonna. I can usually get about six of these in here. Okay, I'm gonna duct tape this back up, label it Creeping Jenny, and I'm gonna leave as, as the thing that's different from when we do this with the winter sowing out in the snow. Um, this is gonna go stay inside. This is this is. I'm gonna treat these like they're babies. I'm going to put them in my greenhouse. And you're um, going to water them. Uh, well, you're going to water them from the bottom. You're not going to do it in the top. And I'm only going to take this lid off for about an hour every day just to let the air freshen up because I don't want to, I want to trap that humidity. I have a question. Yes. What would happen if you were, um, instead of just taking it off for an hour every day? Just to punch a hole in it. Well, um, I found that when I was using the trays and the humidity domes, I would just open it for a little bit every day. If I left a little hole, the humidity didn't get trapped. So, so I did. I like. I prefer this method. Um, other prime candidates. I've got a lantana here. That's going to be nice. I'm going to cut back cut, um, and get two more plants off of this. Really good candidate for this technique is the calibracoas. This um, I purchased as a as a um, plug about three weeks ago. You can see it's come along nicely. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take probably five cuttings off of this. That might seem brutal, <laughs> but it actually is going to make your mother plant be stronger, be bushier, grow better. And then you have a whole bunch of nice little baby plants that you can use and put in other baskets. I make my basket flowers go four to five times more and I also get tons more herbs because we use a lot of herbs and we like to have lots of flowers but I'm not going to shell out a fortune every spring to do it. I'm very choosy. I get my my um, mother plants from good sources. In Calgary there's a great place called Garden Retreat. They have awesome um, selection and here in Springbank I really really love the uh, country gardens and nursery. They grow their own, a lot of their own plants so I know they're great. And um, so I would suggest if you give it a try, honestly, you want to cut these back anyways to promote bushier growth. So why not try to make some more plants while you're at it? If you have any more questions about this technique, please don't hesitate to let us know in the comments below. And once again, if there's anything you'd like to see a video, video about, um, let us know, right? Yeah. Okay. Give it a try. It's a lot of fun. It's almost yeah. like magic. Clone <laughs> okay. your plants and have a great day. Bye.